Today, I am going to create an avocado tree that grows two varieties of avocado. Each variety has its own characteristics that make it special. This is called a Simmons. We start picking those toward the end of June. And this big guy here, this is a Monroe. I'm going to use a technique called grafting where I take a cutting from each tree and fuse them both into an avocado seedling. And when I'm done with this project today, I will have a tree that when it grows to maturity will give me Simmons avocados in the spring and beautiful Monroe avocados in the fall. Come on, let's go find a seedling to graft these guys onto. The first thing I gotta do is go through all my avocado seedlings to find a good candidate to graft. Since I'm grafting two varieties, a regular old seedling ain't gonna work because there's only one sprout. I need to find one that sent up two or more sprouts. So let's see, here, this guy, I'll see look. Yeah, okay. So here you see, we have, let me get these leaves out of the way, we have two, two sprouts here. We've got like the, the dominant one right here, and we have the runt right here. But even the runt is big enough and healthy enough to graft. And while I was back there, I spotted another one that also has two shoots coming up. This guy right here. The first thing we got to do is prep the seedling. Since we're going to fuse a cutting into each of these sprouts here, we need to prep these seedlings. So I just get rid of that. I get rid of that. And now I have two seedlings to graft those cuttings I took earlier. The next thing we're going to do is cut slits into our seedlings so that we have somewhere to insert the cuttings. I'm using my gentleman's hardware pruning tool. It's got a nice sharp pruning knife. The key with the pruning knife is that it's sharp. You want to make your slit not right dead center. You want to make your slit a little off center. Just kind of cut down into this guy. You see I've made my cut. See how that's open now? Then I'll make my cut in the other one. I'll go a little off center on this guy. And now I've got my two seedlings prepped and ready to accept the cuttings. Now to prepare the cuttings, we just remove the leaves. Just get rid of all the leaves. Until we have ourselves a nice stalk. With avocados, a lot of times it looks like a, uh, a little piece of asparagus. And uh, you want the top, see that little horn of new growth? You don't want that to be flushed out to leaves yet. You want that little horn of new growth just poking out the top. And here I've got the Monroe. And similarly, the Monroe is just starting to poke through. This guy's ready to go also. Now we're back to the seedling and we want to make a wedge cut in our cuttings so that we could insert the wedge into the slit we cut in our seedlings. And the reason we do that, for lack of a better word, we created a wound here and we're gonna create a wound here. And just like when you cut yourself, your skin wants to heal, we want those two wounds to heal to create a graft. Let me show you what that looks like. Here's a variety of avocado called a long neck avocado. And this is a graft. This graft is about, well, probably about three years old. And you could see here, you could see the little scar. You could see where this seedling, just like these guys here, was split. And then this was inserted in. And here you could see the two splits. And this was inserted in and taped up. It fused together. And this has been a healthy growing tree now for the last two, two and a half years. In another maybe, maybe next year, I'll put this guy in the ground in my grove. All right, so back to our two variety avocado tree. Now the next step is I want to match the diameters as best I can. So since the Monroe is thicker and the Simmons is thinner, I'm going to put the Monroe on the thicker side and I'm going to put the Simmons on the thinner side. And the way I prep these is I just cut a wedge into the cutting, I just make a cut down each side almost like you're just like you're trying to sharpen a knife. And now that I have my wedge, I'm going to insert that into the seedling. But I need my glasses for this part, so I'm going to insert the wedge down into the seedling. Oh, that's a nice fit. Look at that. Oh, that is nice. And then once that's in there, oh, and he's in there good. I'm going to wrap it up with grafting tape. Now this is going to be a little challenging, a little challenging because I have to go, I have to wrap this guy, but I have to do it in between 
with this other seedling here. So let me wrap this guy up nice. This is just a little bit of a challenge here because I've got the other half of the seedling in the way. But I'm just going to wrap this guy up nice with grafting tape. Get him in there so the edges touch. Normally I do a couple tight wraps and tie it off, but with this other seedling in the way, I'm not going to be able to do that. So I'm just going to tie this guy off. All right, this is a little longer than I want to use, so the first thing I'm going to do is cut it off. Make it just a little bit shorter, and also so the diameter fits my seedling, so that's nicer. And then, I'll make my side cuts on this cutting. So there's one. And here you see our second cutting. This is the Simmons. I'm going to put that into the smaller diameter side of the seedling. Similarly, line up the sides. This lines up good too. And carefully wrap it up. This second one here is giving me a challenge because wrapping it up is difficult because I've got the cutting already on the other one. So I have to bring the tape way up high like this and kind of swing it around and keep it tight so that I don't lose the, the contact I need here with the uh, between the scion, between the cutting and the seedling. But I think I'm about to get it here. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Yeah, there's that top wrap. We'll do one more. That's good. And then we'll come around and tie it off. Here you have two varieties of avocado grafted onto the same tree. Why would we do this? Well, for starters, most people don't have a whole farm to grow avocados. A lot of times they have a backyard, they got room for one, maybe two, maybe three trees. This allows a backyard grower to plant one avocado tree, but get two varieties. The Simmons has a different flavor than the Monroe. The Simmons is a little bit more nutty. The Monroe is a little bit more oily. The Simmons you harvest in June, July, and August. The Monroe you harvest in November, December, January, and even a little bit into February. This gives the backyard grower six to seven months worth of food. Another thing worth noting is that the Simmons is flowering type A, whereas the Monroe is flowering type B. And the interesting thing with avocados is every flower has two phases, a male phase and a female phase. And when the type A's are in their female phase, the type B's are in their male, and the B's pollinate the A's. When the A's are in their male phase, the B's switch to female, and the A's pollinate the bees. And so you not only have a tree that's going to give you fruit seven months out of the year, it's going to give you two different types of fruit, but it's going to increase your pollination because it's going to have a combination of male and female flowers right together on the same tree, fertilizing each other, giving you more fruit. All right, let's take this guy out in the grove and see if we could do the same exact thing. Before we go, things are a little dry here in the nursery. Here we are in the grove, and I've got a choquette tree to my left, your right, and I've got a Monroe tree to my right, your left. Let's see if we can find some fruit. There might be a few stragglers on the choquette. Here's one. We're kind of toward the end of choquette season. I'm only going to do one more picking of choquette, and then we'll be done with these. That's why this guy's so small. We're these are usually three, three and a quarter pounds. This is on the smaller side. And then over here now, you'll see the tree is full of Monroes because we are only just starting Monroe season right now. So let me find a, a big old fat Monroe so we could compare the two. Now this guy looks good. You'll recall the tree we grafted here was a combination of Monroe and Simmons. And the reason we did it is because Simmons is early season and Monroe is late season. And this will give the, the person who plants this tree fruit from July to August and then again from November to February. The Choquette, on the other hand, is a late season variety, just like the Monroe. However, we start picking Choquettes a little bit earlier. We start picking Choquettes the first week of September, which is about two months prior to starting with Monroe. The choquettes tend to be my largest avocados, although the specimens I have left, this guy here 
and this guy here, they're a little bit on the small side, and that's because we are at the end of picking season for Choquette. We've been picking these guys for almost two months now. I'll do one more picking to clean the Choquette trees, and by the time you're done, you're just down to your little guys. Now, even though these are both late season avocados, there's still a very good reason to combine Choquettes with Monroes. And it happens to be the same reason I've got Choquettes and Monroes all planted interspersed amongst each other. And it has to do with that flowering type I told you about. Choquette is flowering type A and Monroe is flowering type B, which means that when these guys have their male flowers, when they're in their male phase, they are pollinating. I think, I think actually the proper term is pollinizing. Uh, the male flower I think is a pollinizer. The bee that carries the pollen is the pollinator. But anyways, when the Choquettes are male, they pollinize the Monroes, and when the Monroes are male, they pollinize the Choquettes. So again, there's a very good reason to take a seedling and put a cutting from a Choquette and a cutting from Monroe together on the same tree. You will wind up with a tree that, that's self-pollinating, and you'll also wind up with a tree that gives you fruit for the months of September, October, November, December, January, February. You'll get fruit for half the year off of this tree. Let's go get us a couple of cuttings. This is the Choquette. There's a couple of good candidates here. This one, well, that actually, yeah, that looks pretty nice. I'm gonna take this one. There's the Choquette, and let's spin around and see what we can get off of this Monroe. Actually, there weren't any good candidates off of that Monroe, so I came over to this Monroe tree instead. And uh, this, yeah, this guy here looks good. Okay. So here we have our Choquette and our Monroe. Let's go back to the truck and graft these on to a single seedling. All right, we already cut these guys down to size, so let's make our cuts, our slits. There we go, there's one. And you are gonna be slit number two. Come on, come on, there you go. Prepare the cuttings. All right, and this is the choquette. This is the thicker of the two, so I'm gonna put the choquette on the the thicker stem side. So let me prep this guy first. I'm just gonna get rid of that last little inch there. It was kind of gnarly and messed up. Now let me give this guy a nice little slice. There's one. There's two. And there we have the choquette grafted into the seedling. Now let me wrap it up. As I'm wrapping this guy up, I want to tell you, if you're going to try grafting on your own, the ideal situation in a perfect world, the diameter of your cutting matches the diameter of your seedling so that when you make your cuts, everything lines up flush on the sides. But this one that I'm doing here, the cutting is just a little bit more narrow than the seedling. So what you do in that case is you make one side line up. So if one side is kind of flush and the other side is in a little bit, just line up the one side that's flush and make sure it stays flush as you wrap your cutting. And as I tie this up, I'll tell you, I'm making this Choquette Monroe combo for a fellow YouTuber over in the UK who I'm collaborating with, Nirmala. I've been collaborating with Nirmala because she's doing some very interesting things with her YouTube channel. She's growing tropical fruit in her, I guess I won't call it a greenhouse, it's like a sort of shade house of sorts. She's got right in the heart of London and uh, she actually found a, an avocado tree in London that bears fruit. And she got some cuttings and she grafted that tree. So her and I are going to do a little collaboration video about that tree because I explained to her a lot of my viewers a lot of you guys you don't necessarily live in hardiness zones where you can grow avocado so here's the cutting for the Monroe I'm gonna slip that into the seedling on the Monroe side here uh, a lot of you guys don't live in uh, the USDA hardiness zones that promotes the growing of tropical fruit that promotes the growing of these avocados people are challenging themselves they're coming up with different systems and different schemes people are using grow lights and all kinds of uh, very intricate and complex you know irrigation and drainage techniques so that they can grow 
uh, in their apartments, in their townhouses, on their little patios. It's really interesting. And when I came upon uh, Nirmala, or Mimi as she likes to be called, when I came upon her page, I said, you know, you could be a huge help to a lot of my subscribers because not only do I get people from all around the United States and other parts of the world, Canada, uh, up in Sweden, up in Norway, people who want to grow tropical fruit, who want to grow avocados and mangoes and stuff like that, but they know they can't because of their climate. Uh, I also get a lot of people from the UK, from Europe, who say, you know, can I grow these here? And I'd always heard rumors that there was some avocado cultivation going on in Great Britain, but I wasn't sure where. And I asked her about it, and she told me about this London avocado tree that she found. So she's going to, we're going to collaborate and do a video, and she's going to show you guys this tree that actually bears fruit inside of London. So let me just tie this off, and you'll see here what we've got is one single avocado tree grown from a single avocado seed, and I've grafted two varieties onto it. Right here I've got the Monroe variety, right here I've got the Choquette, and it was a special request from uh, someone who's just as passionate, if not more passionate than you guys, about growing tropical fruit, Mimi, over in the UK. So I'm gonna just mark her pot so I know which one is hers. This is Nimi's tree. She's got her Choquette and her Monroe. You learn that it is possible to graft multiple varieties onto the same tree. And I also told you why I did it. So this is the one where I did the Simmons and the Monroe. I combined an early season with a late season and a flowering type A with a flowering type B. That gives the grower fruit for six to seven months out of the year and also increases fertilization, pollinization. In the case of this one, I combined two late seasons, a Monroe and Choquette, but also a type A and type B that will pollinize each other. And this one's bound someday for London, England. And the reason we do all this, the reason we put this work in is so that we could grow delicious avocados like this Choquette and this Monroe. And I encourage you to get out there and try to do some grafting yourself if this seems interesting to you. Now, if it's something that's not interesting, you'd rather not grow your own fruit, but you love avocados, get yourself an eight pound box from us at guacfarm.com. G-U-A-C-F-A-R-M.com. We sell our avocados when they're in season. We also have tropical fruit like mangoes, mame, sapodilla. Sometimes we have lychees, Monstera Deliciosa. We sell these cool hats. We got our Sleepy Lizard t-shirts. And 2023 has been the most fulfilling year for me to be an avocado farmer. Every morning I wake up to six or seven emails from satisfied customers telling me how much they enjoyed these avocados. They're ordering second and third boxes. They're sending boxes to friends as gifts. And it's no surprise to me because the avocados have been absolutely amazing this year. So if it's early in the year and you wanna try a Simmons like on this tree, or if it's in the middle of the year and you want to try some of our Catalinas, our Black Prince, our Miguel's, or if it's toward the end of the year and you'd like to try a Choquette or a Monroe, you can get them at guacfarm.com. Now, as you saw in my nursery, I have a, a few hundred seedlings out there, so I got a lot of grafting to do. While I go out and finish up my grafting for the day, you go to guacfarm.com and I will see you on the next video.